Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV at Gen Con 2015. I'm sitting with uh, Martin Bouchard and Eli Gingrich of Pretzel Games. You guys have brought us a really beefy box. We were having fun a few days ago unwrapping this one just to see what was inside, but a lot of people have been talking about this, which is a flick of up. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful box. It isn't is a it? beautiful box, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. It's pure wood box all the way around, even with a nice cardboard shell when you get yes. this yeah. first thing. So, what do we get in this wonderfully beefy box? Well, let me run you through the game a little bit and we'll, we'll get to that. So, Flick 'em Up is a dexterity game, of course. Um, where we have two teams, we have the lawmen and the outlaws, in a like an old west shoot 'em out, right? <laughs> so you, you, the scenario that we've been doing here is a big shoot 'em out at the end. But to just give you a brief overview of how it works is on your turn, you can do two actions. So if I wanted to move, I could take this disc. This is our movement disc, and replace my cowboy here. And it's going to be a little harder because we've been shooting on wood surfaces <laughs> other than this nice piece of felt. And I flick in, and then I can replace them. From here, I could move again if I wanted to. I could take the action of moving again. But who doesn't want to shoot, right? <laughs> so I'm going to shoot. I'm going to put my bullet at his hip because we shoot from the hip. <laughs> and about a bullet width away, and I'm going to try to flick him down there. Hey. So if I flick him down, I can take a heart from him and throw it in the casket here, and he's down. <laughs> so once I've done that, I just symbolize I've done my turn by flipping his hat and saying I've, I've done my two actions this round. And it's as easy as that. That's kind of the main things here. Now other things I could do, instead of, let's say I didn't shoot him, I could go into the building over here. I'm just going to get up, move around. Right, yes. So I'll replace him, and if I can flick in, Oh, if I hit something, I lose my action. So let's try that again. So I lost that action almost. That's, that, that's because that, of the table. That's table the table, yeah. yeah. So let's go in there. If I enter a building, um, if there's another guy in there, automatically we break out into a duel. Obviously. So it's that old west duel, shooting back and forth. Um, if the guy's not in there, I can search. Her. Oh, and if I break into a duel, I shoot first because I took him by surprise. But if uh, there's items in there, I can pick them up. And if I get like a gun, now I have two guns. So when I take that shoot action, bam, bam, from both hips. <laughs> or I could find other items in there. So there's gold. We have a, a rifle. And sometimes there's extra hearts, too. So you'd uh, get more health, replenish your health, especially in the saloon. That's a great place to replenish your health. <laughs> Now, so on top of having a lot of flexibility, even just with that, you guys also have a large scenario book right yeah, at your elbow Yeah, it's great. There. So we started off um, with this scenario book. We have 10 scenarios to start off. And like I said before, you have that classic shoot 'em up It's working kind of like a story. So we're going from town to town for each scenario, and each scenario sets up different as it's a different town. Yeah, you discover a new city in each scenario, in each scenario. So this one is really simple, but uh, with this one, you discover how the duel works. Mm. After that, uh, here, that's a bank robbery. You have, uh, you discover here the dynamite, how to use the dynamite. So you take that wooden piece and you just flick the, the, the wooden piece to the <laughs> buildings, to the guy, or so that cactus yes, is and toast. boom, that explodes. Yeah, way to <laughs> pop that out. <laughs> yeah. Now, how many players could you play with this? I know that is also very flexible. Well, we're so excited about this because this goes two to ten players. You don't get a lot of games that play two to ten players really easy. So let's say me and you are having a game night and we're playing, and we're just going back and forth. We, it goes back and forth really good. You don't have a certain man that you're in charge of. You just, when you take your turn, you pick one of your team, uh, if you're the lawman. I guess I'm not the lawman. You've got the white <laughs> yeah, hat. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I must be the good guys. And you just pick one of your team members, use them, flip their hat. Now, let's say Martin comes over, and Hello. he's like, hey, I want <laughs> to like join. We're halfway through the game, and it's, a lot of times you're just sitting around. We can just get him in. He's now controlling one of those yeah, players. I will help bet. Yeah? That's right. Yeah, uh -huh, he's gonna... uh -huh. yeah, he's on my team. <laughs> yeah, so we're finding that it goes from two to 10 really easy. We've 
that's great for demoing. We've been demoing this the whole time. <laughs> and people are coming in, can I join in? Sure. sure well, no You're going to join this team and they watch a couple rounds and they're right in. It's so simple. You get those two actions and you're off running. Well, and yeah. even outside of the scenarios, I mean, you could just have a lot of creativity in setting this up however yeah. you yes, want. Yes, that's a really nice toolbox to create new cities, new scenarios, new things. That, yeah, that's really you know, cool. I'm a, I'm a personally a huge fan of Crokinole, and I, yes. I'm envisioning if I could build my own board every time I played Crokinole, that this is the feeling I would get. That, you yeah, know. <laughs> and because you can build it, it doesn't matter what table you have. I've been demoing it a lot and getting little tables and just doing it back and forth. Nice. But you have a your little nice... little town that's too yeah. small for the both of us. Yeah, <laughs> but then you could have your kitchen table, set it up a little bigger and even have room for some snacks and drinks and it's great to <laughs> yeah the, the table itself that. take part of the game so yeah. yes uh, if you have a, a, a small space or huge space yeah. that will create a, a different game so the, the game will be the, the feeling will be different from one to the other <laughs> I was gonna say with the rule book we talked about scenarios we've handed out a couple of copies to um, developers and said hey can you make us some some more scenarios so they're, they're currently making some, so we're trying to post stuff up on BGG, so we keep this community growing. I was just going to say, I'm, I'm sure a lot of users yeah. themselves will, will voluntarily uh, yeah. put forth a lot of ideas. Yeah, yeah, this is something I could see a lot of people getting really excited about. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys are excited to go find this, this would be Flick 'em Up by Pretzel Games, and it's a, it's a hoot and nanny and a holler. So. That's right. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw!